Oh no. Let's go. Two. Let's try four. See what happens. Yeah. Let's try three. I like the elevator in the corner. Look here. One, two, three. Cheese. Maybe light comes on, like sensor, sometimes like that. When I walk in, sometimes it's, it's a. For your safety, please only turn people on the space at a time. Sometimes it's like a motion sensor to save electricity. Oh no. Oh. Elsa, you have to lie. On the third floor, there's an art spy giant seek and find. I'm not sure if the lights are supposed to turn on, but over here, you can see that there's a scavenger hunt where you're, you're trying to find all of these. The thing is that the fourth floor is closed today because they're probably installing new galleries. So some of these we might not be able to find. Is that the artist? No, I think that's the name of it. Okay. I'm not this, sure actually. This exhibit is called Sensiwi Nebudzu. What a... We, well, we can attempt to say that too. Can we go? We're going to check out... We're going to check out Sensiwi Nebudzu, Oracles of the Pink Universe. Mm -hmm. Do we need the chairs? No, we don't. <laughs> This artwork is called The Assertion of Will, and it's based on the Garden of Eden painting by Michelangelo. Oh, you're pulling out the serpent? Uh -huh. So that... Oh, people won't like it. Yeah. Okay. That's why I'm afraid of that. 
So that's the serpent from Adam and Eve. Okay. So that's the serpent from Adam and Eve. And then all these other people are like Adam, Eve type of characters. And they have hand gestures, which is up to your own interpretation. This artwork is Dondolo, the witch's doctor's assistant, and it's this spike ball over here is in another famous artist painting. So basically the artist in this exhibit takes famous objects from other paintings and applies it to his own artwork. One thing I like about all these, uh, one thing I like about this exhibit is that the artwork has other things besides paint. For example, the fabric dress over here, and also objects that come out of the frame. This gallery, this gallery, this gallery features 19th century American and Europe. Next, we're checking out 19th century American and European. What? Oh, say that. Yeah. <clears throat> Next, we're checking out the 19th century in American and Europe. Next, we're checking out the 19th century in European and American art. There's a lot of artwork here by master artists. There's a lot of original paintings here by master artists. There's a lot of original paintings here by master artists, such as Van Gogh, Renoir, uh, wait, no. There's a lot of original paintings here by master artists, such as Van Gogh, Manet, and Degas. This painting is from this painting is from this this painting is from Pessar. This, 
let's go back to oh this one's just about frames exhibit on only frames and I guess the frame just depends on what type of painting it is so that it fits the theme. This this section has fruit paintings which are these are very realistic grapes and it's my first time seeing raspberries in a painting. That's a regular smile, boo boo. All right, one, two, three. Regular smile. No, no. See, come on, regular. <laughs> All right, one, two, three. Huh? Because yawning. All right, one, two, three. See. <laughs> gallery there's a lot of contemporary art let's look at hurry hurry all right one two three random objects including tires for its body. And the name of the giant snake is this is not a snake. Hey guys, Hi. would you like to make some art? Sure. Alright. We are doing a storytelling theme, so in your kit directly underneath your sheet of paper at the light tables the light will shine through and then you can trace and create like a comic strip we have story no you can have that could anyone else like one no that's good. all right yeah. you Thank can you. keep the paper stuff just return the no, i don't need a light table I'm, I'm making my own storyboard without stencils there i go we are at the storytelling studio and we'll be making a storyboard Thank you. 
Okay, I'll draw a story of some a bird. You can do Rupert's cube or something about Rupert's cube. Yeah, Rupert's cube. Yeah, Rupert's cube. Yeah, Rupert's No, this is not a tongue. This is not a tongue. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what are you making? No, this is not a tongue. This is not a tongue. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <Crap>. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my bag. And I need the junior, the badge thing. What are you making, brother? Guess what it is. Yes. Oh wait, she had hair. What are you making? That's the Angry Ranger from Rocky okay, Mountain. I made the Angry Ranger from Rocky Mountain National Park. Wait, it wasn't filmed though. It wasn't filmed. Yeah, but that's fine. We encountered an Angry Ranger. Yeah, because it, the shop was over capacity and rather oh, left. Hold on. And also, this is my storyboard. The best storyboard. Uh, can you film up close? This is Kalmu. Moo. Kalmu eats chocolate. Uh oh, he's getting threatened. Ah, gun, gun, knife. He got dead. <laughs> the end. The end. I made the Angry Ranger from Rocky Mountain National Park. Wait, it wasn't filmed though. It wasn't filmed. Yeah, but that's fine. We encountered an Angry Ranger. Yeah, because it, it, the shop was over capacity and rather oh, left. Hold on. And also, this is my storyboard. The best storyboard. Uh, can you film up close? This is Kalmu. Moo. Kalmu eats chocolate. Uh oh, he's getting threatened. Ah, gun, gun, knife. He got dead. <laughs> the end. The end. What are you making, brother? Guess what it is. Yeah. 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 Here is my story of Denver. I managed to do it without coloring. So this is the, rock, the Rocky Mountain National Park Ranger that was grumpy. We didn't put it, we didn't record her, but she was a very grumpy ranger. And yeah. <laughs> but my storyboard is even better. It's about cow boo. 
This is cow moo. Moo. Cow moo eats chocolate. Knife number one, knife number two. Ah, ah. <laughs> he got dead. <laughs> he got dead. 10.99 all natural beef. That's what he became. The end. <laughs> what do you get? That's how you slap Someone sees it. Alright. Tell us what you drew. Oh, you're supposed to put it. Alright, and go. Over here is a sawfish from the aquarium. Oh, how about I drew a sawfish from the aquarium? I drew a sawfish from the aquarium. Hey, everyone's rocking up and exploring. Oh. And go. And that is the. Oh, oh yeah. Intro. Okay. Our first stop is Denver Art Museum. Is that what it's called? Or Museum of Art? Denver Art Museum. Oh yeah, okay. It says that. Our next stop is Denver Art Museum. Hold on, I'm waiting for this guy to walk. Alright, and I go. Now we are at Den... Now we are at Denver Art Museum. It's time to check out Denver Art Museum. Our first stop is Denver Art Museum. Oh. Alright, uh, another, another Our attraction. Stop. Our final stop is Denver Art Museum. Denver Art Museum is a, a, tri is a place you should check out. So the sentence is All different. Right. Right. Denver Art Museum is a place you should check out. When you're in Denver. Right. Denver Art Museum is a place you should check out when you're in Denver. Alright, final thoughts? And that is the Denver Art Museum. My favorite exhibit was probably the one that was all dark and had the Adam and Eve type of painting and all the, uh, what was that called? Oh, Oracles of the Pink Unicorn. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's called Oracles of Pink Unicorn. Oh, it was Sovereign, my favorite? My favorite exhibit was probably Oracles of, uh, or my favorite exhibit was probably Oracles of the Pink Universe just because we got to see like an interpretation of the Adam and Eve painting. No, that one was a different one. No, that was it. That was no, it, it was. It is. And also, and also in some of the paintings, they used objects like the dress and things that went off the canvas. My favorite painting was the one where it was made of clay and they were in balls. In balls? Yeah. And I also liked. Wait, what, what are you talking about? In the same room? No. What song was it? It's fine. The first floor. Do, do you know what he's talking about? I take when a picture? you go home and edit, you can. Ah, sure. And I also liked how we got to see paintings from famous artists like Van Gogh and Manet. Um, now let's head to the next. Yeah. Uh -huh. We didn't get to see about half of the museum because they were currently installing new exhibits. So if we ever come back to Denver, that would be cool to see. On to the next stop.